Good evening, friends. This is Corey with the Painted Peacock, and I am making a gift this evening. In preparations for school, we get to go and get our haircuts. And the awesome human that cuts our hair is a gal that I met while doing uh, horror makeup at the Fear Factory in Salt Lake City. And she is also a, a hairstylist. And she has a business card of Medusa that I think about quite frequently. And it's kind of in the spooky vein of things, so I decided to recreate her business card image for her on an 8x8 canvas. So we are going to start with our body. Uh, one of the most important parts of doing a humanoid figure in particular are proportions. It is always better to start uh, smaller and then work your way bigger because it's a lot harder to subtract images. Uh, so we're going to start with her hair, which is a series of snakes. And then her curled side. I don't know what it is about this image that I think is just hilarious, honestly. I'm working on a little curling iron here and a little spray bottle over here. I'm going to start to put some clothing on her. She's rather voluptuous, but hey, she's a Gorgon. It's what they do. Now the little white on the arms was me making some size adjustment. I'll go in in a minute with a little bit of purple and try and erase that. It is so much easier to start smaller and work larger so you don't have to do that kind of thing. Just doing some different shadows and highlights. Now I did have a reference photo, of course the business card. And so I did highlights before many other things, which is not normally I some, not normally something I do. And so it was a little bit Jesus take the will, and I hope that turns out. I don't know why I did it that way, but it worked out in the end. Here's some of the highlights on our curling iron. In this quirky little mouth. And again, my most favorite part, adding black outline. This is really when things come to life for me. Working around the arms, adding a little bit of muscle definition. I'm going to block out fingers. And then we get to do all of these snakes. And it was during this period where I realized that the highlights that I already painted for the snakes just worked out as a really good guideline. And get our curls in there. going to do just a few hair styling tools, highlights, and painting these eyeballs on these snakes were so funny. I had them looking in different directions, which gave them so much personality. Various lotions and potions, combs and brushes.
in their completed image in the real colors. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope my sweet friend enjoys it as well. Have a good evening.